welcome back to my channel, I'm Suze. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cover this drum kit. Um, this kit is 22 years old. I've had it since I was very, very young and I used to be in a band. Um, but as you can see, it's old and it's a little worse for wear. And I've already covered one of them. Uh, one of the drums, so I'll be changing it from black to a sparkly pink colour. Um, I did this drum ages ago just to try out to see the longevity of um, the vinyl wrap that I'll be using and it has held up quite well. The only thing with this colour is that it is quite light and you can see scratches and dirt on it already. So what I chose to do ages ago was buy two of the colours, as you can see here. Oh, oh come closer in there. So I have this darker pink colour, which I thought would be pretty cool to use. So we're going to give that a go today. And I'm going to make the whole drum kit this iridescent purpley pink colour. So I will get to showing you how I do that now. Okay, so this is the drum kit. As you can see, it's... It's a very sparkly um, vinyl wrap. I will be carefully taking off the sticker and reusing that. And you can see how dirty and scratchy it can get. A lot of people will say that this isn't great for the drum sound. This is a very cheap drum kit. I think my dad bought it for $300 um, back when I was a lot younger. So you know, it's old, it has rust and <laughs> It's not looking great and it doesn't sound great, but it's great for kids who want to learn. So we're just jazzing it up a bit to make it a little fun. So I'm not too concerned about how it sounds because it's not a drum kit that's going to be used professionally. So what we're going to need to do this is some tools. Um, just normal screwdriver type things. If you have your own drum kit, which I know some of my subscribers may not be drummers, it might be a weird video. <laughs> For you to watch but when I was first doing this I couldn't find anywhere on YouTube that showed you how to cover a drum kit. I'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory but I thought why not make a video of it I'm going to be doing it today anyway. So most drummers will have a key it's got a little square and that is for these little screws that are on top of the drum kit. So you've got to undo each one. Once you get the lid off, there's gonna be screws on the inside to take these pieces, these pieces here off. So we need only the shell. So all of this hardware will come off and then we'll be able to take everything off here and then recover it. That is the skin inside of the drum. And I've covered it with another piece of vinyl just to deaden the sound slightly. Okay, so this is what the shell looks like from the inside. So we now need to remove all of these screws so we can get these off. So it is quite a long process to do each single drum. So we'll get through this one and then we will speed through the rest of them. Okay, I'm gonna try and take this sticker off. I don't think it'll be too hard though. Let's see, famous last words. Still quite sticky. That's good. So I just wanted to mention that with this particular shell, I call this the shell, so that's without all the hardware. 
Usually it has a plastic coating over the top like the others did in the black. The reason I took my plastic coating off and then just added the vinyl wrap over the wood was because when we were younger we did a gig at a car wash and the drum kit was in the sun for a while and the some of the plastic um, buckled and went slightly wavy which would have been quite hard for me to cover it with the vinyl wrap so that's why I've taken it off and I'll be taking it off all of them just just because I can it's an old drum kit so if you've got one at home which you don't want to take the plastic off and it, there's no damage to it then just put the vinyl wrap over the plastic don't take the plastic off so definitely use a hairdryer to get that vinyl wrap off it is a cheap vinyl wrap I bought it for five dollars a roll at Kmart about two years ago that's how long this other vinyl wrap has been on this one drum if you want to do it to your drum kit at home or any other instrument just make sure you put the hairdryer on it just for a few seconds to warm up the glue and it'll come straight off on the drum there is this join line so that's where I'm going to start putting the vinyl wrap this is very thin too if you can afford to I would recommend getting the vinyl wrap similar to what you would use to wrap a car they are quite a lot thicker and you can manipulate those with heat as well like i said before i'm not too fast because this is a very old drum kit but if you have more of a newish drum kit that you'd like to change the color of um temporarily then i'd go with the car vinyl wraps because they are made to be removed the wood along here the wood is quite chipped so there's nothing I can really do about that and there this is all being chipped out underneath but wherever else it's smooth it is going on quite well you will just need to maybe cover the outside of your drum kit maybe don't take the black or whatever color your drum kit is at the moment don't take that plastic part off and this vinyl will go on a lot smoother be very careful. Use a very sharp knife or an exacto knife. Okay, so that's your shell cupboard, and now you have to just feel out for the holes that are here for all of the hardware inside. So don't cut too big of a hole because you don't want to ruin. Just go around and poke them like that. 
Now it's time to reattach all of your hardware. Okay, so this is the finished drum. I still have four more or three, one, two, three more to do, and I will show you the end product after I've covered the rest of them. This has taken about an hour and a half to do because the longest part is taking all of the hardware off. Okay, guys, this is the final look for the drum kit. It did take me all day. It took a few hours, um, but we finally got there. And this drum, this drum, and this drum, I kept the black on underneath and it didn't come out too bad. There are some spots where you can see it's dimpled, but that's because the black underneath was dimpled. So there's really no getting rid of that, unfortunately. We really, really like it. The kids loved it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe or leave a comment below. If you have any questions, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.